All righty then, we are in Operation Eagle Peak. I am joined rarely by a co-commentator, but tonight I have pulled in Harv. Say hi, Harv. How's it going, everyone? You guys have heard me comment commentate before, so not the first time. I have somehow snagged him in here for this very odd stream that y'all will come to notice in a bit. Anywho, let's move over to commands. Uh, tonight is a round against U.S. versus the Russians. Oh boy. Yeah, he rarely gets in on these ops every now and then, but ooh, this could be interesting. All right, and for the Russian side, we have command being Riser, with his 2IC being Alpha Guido, and his further SLs being Nas, Rubba, Krusty, and Decrum. Moving over to loadouts for the U.S. side. Take it away. Each squad gets one SL, two FTLs, uh, an AR, two ARs, sorry, my bad, and uh, one Medic. Uh, as far as platoon armory goes, so this is these are the uh, kits that we can give out that the commander would give out any to anyone really uh we got six lats of the at4 variety two hats and then four engineers so those will be spread out amongst the rest of the depending on what the commander wants and then we got three logistics trucks for our vehicles and one trans truck so for the russian side tonight infantry squad levels we got one sl two ftls two ars one medic Infantry option, platoon armory will be four RPG-7s, four hats, four engineers, one medic. Mech option, platoon armory will consist of crewmen as needed, if chosen. Vehicles uh, have one BTR-80, one Logi-100 ammo only. Infantry option, if chosen, additional one trans truck, one Logi truck, 500 ammo only. And additional mortar, mortar vehicles. And uh, if mech option is chosen, they have an additional two BTR-80s. Fob and logistics, if infantry option is chosen, they get two mortars, smoke only, and one logi truck, 1,000 ammo, and 1,000 build. Uh, no support. If you look on your map, you'll generally see some... Uh, yeah, they are going over uh, stuff for the Russian side. Now, so we are a bit late on this. You have a question for All right, me. I'm gonna run over and get to because I'm pretty sure it changed. Yeah, you you swap rubber and I in the brief. Uh, do what I originally told you. What I said in the front. Copy. Oh, All right. Let's go. Cool. They just break them out. Yeah. Oh, someone did. Oh, sorry. Somebody's <laughs> wearing my ear. <laughs> he asked, "What route will the BTRs take?" Um, they're going far west. So if you look, there's a highway on your map, uh, basically heading out towards the Charlie 11 area. Just going very, very, very far west using this fog. And uh, trying not to get spotted until they are ready to make their assault. Any other questions? All right, cool. Now I'll break them out. Did you see the rescue? Comms, 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 comms. Welcome to uh, Operation Eagle Peak. Uh, we're staging here as the American forces holding this hilltop. We have intel that the Russians are coming. Our objective is to hold this fob radio at all costs. The way we're going to do this is we're sending out Wayne Newton's squad out towards uh, November 13. On the helmet mark, he's going to be a recon element uh, waiting, uh, seeing where they're coming in from. If we spot them in from the north, um, that's going to be good intel for us. Basically, the entire operation is going to be a fighting retreat. We're going to spot the enemy forces. We're going to take a few shots. We're going to slow them down, and we're going to pull in towards the fob, and we're just going to rinse and repeat that the entire time. So we're sending Wayne out to the northwest. Karma. Uh, he's going to be staged on this little nub out to our east, uh, marked by the machine gun mark. Uh, that's going to be his main area, but he can stretch his guys out as far as the map border or across the road. I'm going to leave that up to the squad lead. Uh, Frost, you're going to be on that hilltop with the motorbike, uh, watching the west side. Wilbur, on point with me, will be building up defenses. And Kerr, I'm sending you south uh, through the ditch and then moving west. Uh, basically screening the south side of, of the objective. Pretty simple plan, guys. We're waiting to see where they come in from, and then we'll uh, adjust their formation, uh, formation accordingly. Any questions about the plan? Basically, we're just playing by ear through the whole op, seeing where they come from. Right, we got to find out where they are. Engage and disengage. 
Exactly. Find out where they are, find out where they're coming from, take a few shots, slow them down, pass that back up to command, and we'll go from there. Is okay, there so any armor? Up. Well, uh, how much armor do Potentially, there have? could what be armor know? coming. Uh, there is potential armor assets. All right, Just keep potential your eyes armor. Open. All right, let's break them out for life, guys. Possible reprimand from the... Uh... Uh, CO? Oh boy, we are live! Ooh. Ooh, and we're live, nice. Oh yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so I basically... Will. Yeah. Yeah, I will keep your view in the bottom in case you go up close to anything. Uh, nope. Also, this is a test, so if anyone's got any critiques or anything uh, for the secondary camera for the co-commentator, uh, please do let me know. I am looking for input. security on the south side. I've seen you guys play, I know you know what's up, but All right. still, still we're out there. Which one's a bit louder? Killer Man the Time, which is me, or The Harv? Who is me? He is. That is me, my guy. Rabbit, you get stuck in a ditch. No, I hit a tree. Are you talking like uh, as far as me talking or my game audio? Uh, you know, you no, I think it just means stream audio. Also, I've got the uh, VoIP line maxed, so I probably could take it down a bit. So I can always I could always turn down my game volume. That might help too. If you have like both audio streams open, I usually keep the game audio um, audio at its maximum because that's really our focus. The commentation can come second to that, but uh, yeah. usually you're not close enough to what's going on for it to make an effect. I'm assuming he's talking about you, um, which I, can I would think so. Only issue is that Har's view is blue and yours is blue. We've dismounted. We've got about a 200 meters walk to our initial position. Don't want to get ambushed out here. Okay. B car gave me a more clear. I think they're just. Boy, about voice them. audio. Yeah. B car saying voice audio. Yeah. Oh, I understand what he's talking about now. The outlines. Um, your units, because you're on the uh, U.S. side, are blue on the outlines. Oh, the yeah. Answer. Okay, so next time I'll add a denotation at the top right corner with uh, flags signifying which team you're watching. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. Yeah. We are working out the issues. I'm actually going to turn down <laughs> some volume on my, my side because... It is way too loud in my ear. I have put Harv at negative six. Uh, let me know if that uh, fixes anything. His peak is a lot lower now. Yeah, let us know, guys. Uh, we definitely want to improve our quality of our streams, so I'm totally ready and willing. Mm, looks much better on my uh, audio graph here. Let's go. All right. Looks like the Russian forces have taken the westward deployment here. 215, like that area. On top and of the a couple of the BTR 80s have taken the, or, well, did I say westward? I meant northern deployment. Then we've got two BTR 80s uh, coming from the west towards the uh, US point. 
I uh, see, yes. Five, you're behind us on this dirt road, yeah? Hey, yeah, please don't try to kill us. <laughs> Crusty. Oh, boy. I just wanted to choke on you. This is a one life event. You die, you are dead. No revives. You can use bandages, but we cannot pick you up off the ground. Once you're down, you are down. I'm gonna go around this ditch, by the way. I don't wanna get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shush, Dorf. I'm gonna do your op horribly. We already did it horribly at the beginning. At all forms of, of stream issues and all that. US is calling out your northern elements here. Oh boy, they've already spotted them? Wait, oh, I see it. Yep. He's calling possible possible movement on, I uh, believe it was uh, Squad 2 on your side. All right, yeah. I, I can see that, yeah, they just moved through an open field to the uh, tree line, so I'd be kind of surprised if they didn't see that. Confirming you want us moving now to 2. Affirm. All right, and I will right. back over. Four is holding here until one. And it looks it's like, uh, it sounds like uh, four is now getting peeled off, ordered off, and uh, they're heading straight two for turns, squad two. Ready, for my squad two, not your squad. Two. Yeah, looks yeah, like they're gonna. gonna <laughs> sounds like they're gonna head uh, northeast here, or southeast. Sorry, southeast. Yeah, I see your uh, your um. Four element is moving in on our squad two's south. Is that a yeah, attempt at in intercepting or? It sounds like they're just reinforcing. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like they're just heading towards uh, two's uh, western position here. I never do that. Like west of two. Give me. A... I don't know how to work the map. Apparently. <laughs> all good. All good. But, uh, I, I keep forgetting look... caps lock is the key. Oh yeah. But it looks like your your squads have uh, kind of stopped moving there. Not sure what's going on there, but yeah, they are holding. They are holding at the moment. I think they're waiting on the BTR 80s to the west to get in position before they do anything. But if the U.S. forces have already spotted them, their element of surprise is gone. It's not been confirmed yet. He just said possible movement. So. Hmm. All right, and it sounds like uh, we might start moving here. Two's going to wait for you guys so we can have a nice line. So this squad I'm following has a pretty good position right now. They're on the they're on the high ground up, up against the ridge. Really nice uh, cover in the valley below. So. Oh yeah, that's that's a great position because they can shoot down. They've got the high ground. Oh yeah. As long as they don't, um, what is it? Skylight? Skyline? Yeah. I, have, I really need to play more ops. That was, that was Nightmare's one question when he popped in. He was like, you playing tonight? I'm like, I'm streaming tonight. <laughs> when are you going to play more ops? Uh, I'll try. It's really hard to get into the ops when you uh, work on the weekends. Uh oh, this... This looks like a lot of fun. We got three squads versus uh, one. Looks like four is going to have a, either a really fun time or a really bad time at this point. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking here. Has your squad four realized that there is Russian elements moving through that field? Yes, I'm pretty sure they think they seen they have seen movement, but they're not quite sure how many there are at this point. So this could be very, very bad. Push past you into Oscar 17. If they get run over. All right. Well, it looks like Krusty's group is about to push past. Two, command. This is two. Fuck, I'm getting backwards. <laughs> You've got guys in November yep. 13th. So oh, they're getting ready to fire on you. Two southwest. Be careful. 
Which one? There's three groups here. Let's see. Four the, to the north. Are you saying to the north? It's about ready to fire. So I'm guessing you're, uh, let me see, your squad four. All right. They might two miss one, squad two rolling up on them. The yep, they, they might miss. But they are currently they engaging north. If necessary, we'll cut them off. But I want you uh, focusing mainly on the objective proper. So we got, we got shots going out from uh, U.S. side. Uh, no shots from the Russians. Oh, never mind. Take oh, that there back. it is. Yep. Uh, snowfall over here started opening up fire. Just uh, just some suppressing fires. He's not unsure of where he's uh, where the contact is. And we've got is that the BTR-80? A BTR-80 has just pulled up on the line. So. Yep, I see that too. Boogie's in it. Is yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, that is Boogie. Yeah. But your uh, your squad two here is getting real close to squad four. It doesn't seem like uh, we took a doesn't right seem like Reggie here is looking towards his west. Yeah. Sorry about that, Jay Smith. There's not much I can do about fog. That is a yep. map layer thing. Until they fix the outlines for the characters, it's pretty much just watching the name tags move in position. So Re Reggie is looking towards his west, but uh, he doesn't know there's a whole squad there yet. Oof. Yeah. He is. Not gonna be looking good here. It's not good. He hasn't seen them yet. They're within uh they're within fifty meters of each other. Yeah. Oh come on, Raggy, look to the west. There you go. He already knows he's gonna oh. have to edit this tonight. Oh, Raggy oh. is down. Oh poor Raggy. Yeah, he started firing at the last second, but uh, it was too late. He was already gotten to a uh, ambush. Yep, looks like your squad four is about to get taken out by the Russians here. Oh yeah, they they are just now seeing the error of their ways here. Smoke's coming out from uh from our side here. Ooh, Red Ooh, Devil got lucky and pulled close. out of his spot. Oh yeah, the Russians doing a nice push here. Say so squad four here is getting pinched real hard. They're getting surrounded on all sides. Oh yeah. Squad two, squad two is trying to uh, is trying to squad, offer support uh, on the LR ridge line over here. Uh, right. I believe that's Karma squad. Oh, Karma. From the east if only you knew. Oh, what'd he say? Karma's saying the blue smoke is friendlies, but they don't realize that friendlies are mixed in with the enemy. Oh, no. So now they're trying to fire. They're going to be firing high. Trying to cover uh, Forrest's retreat. Well, they might be able to get out of there. It doesn't look like the Russians are really too gung-ho about taking them out. Really just trying no. to keep their heads down. Oh, I am not paying attention. What is going on on the south southern flank right now? I'm not paying attention either. It looks like we got a looks like we got a, a squad size element coming to your coming to the south here. Well, I haven't heard any callouts of of uh, contact yet, so I don't think uh, that one's gotten anything yet. It's like squad, half a squad four has gotten out. The rest of the half have been uh, taken out. Oh yeah. Looks like your BTR is moving in. Oh yeah. Looking, looking for them kills. Oh, I'm waiting for it to get hit by a ladder or a hat. It's got boogie in it. It's bound to happen. Oh, it's definitely bound to happen. But uh, looks like they are being pretty brave. They're moving forward without their uh, without their infantry. Well, they are the armored, and no one took any pot shots. Oh, Red Devil. Oh, ooh. That is going to leave a mark. All right. I think I'm hearing some shots from the other side of the uh, compound. We will make our way over there as they kill Squad 4 on the U.S. side. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. 
No, it doesn't look like the U.S. forces are doing anything to this movement over here. Not good to push across. Understood, four. That's why. All right, we'll go back to the other side then. One in on the east side of that hill. I know it's not good to cross here. That's why I didn't want to approach from here. Got. All right, let's uh, switch over to Harv and get some Oscar perspective from him. Okay, so currently at this moment, Car this is Karma much. is trying to uh, help him out, but there's just too much firepower here. Uh, the only people left are uh, Wayne Newton here, Charlie Foxtrot, and uh, Cole G8. Is Red Devil still alive? Nope, he's dead. All right. But as you can see here, they got, the, they got surrounded on three sides, and... Just wiped them out. Five, this uh, thing's rolling right up on my pass. Yep, we're fucking getting on it. If they stay quiet here, they might be able to get a uh, counter ambush in from behind. My squad either oh boy, that's this might be pretty. This might be really fun. Right oh shit! Hold on one sec. We got a BTR rolling up on Karma Squad. What? Right in the middle of everything. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's Krusty's crew. Oh no. Oh, that's not oh, Krusty. No. That's Fulcrum. Oh, oh and Fulcrum. it's gone. Oh, Fulcrum. Oh no. oh, no. They just rolled right up into the middle of everything. Middle of Karma Squad. And I believe oh, uh, Squad 5 as that? well. Who got that? Wow. I think that was Silent or Kerr. I think it was Silent, Kerr, or it could have been pa Paladin. Oh, that is... I don't know who got it, but oh... Trying to keep an eye on everything here, but it's oof. Oh yeah. Hey, Oscar 16 to my south, Karma. Update. BTR Paul 14 keep at seven. Paul 14 keep at seven. Paul 14. Copy. <laughs> Dorf. <laughs> Dorf, you're always angry. I don't think I've ever met you when you are not angry. Yeah, I mean, they just drove up in the up on that hill in the middle of everything. They didn't even realize that there was two squads that were sitting around them. Is Charlie Foxtrot still alive? Let me take a look. He is still alive. Here he is, right here. Honestly, for this operation, it is not usually advantageous for the U.S. side. No, it's not, Ever. but... But there are, have been miracles done done in the past before. But as of right now, it looks like uh, the rest of Squad 4 on my side is just staying quiet and they're just giving out information up to oh, command. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got Charlie Foxtrot back here in the back. And he's uh, dead. <laughs> oh, never mind. He is not alive anymore. Yep, and he is dead. Oh, and there's a team kill. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That ain't oh, good. Happen. Hobocop. Hobocop killing Ve uh, Varello. Er, you're calling out due south. Right. Key I got, 14 I got, I got, I got, the U.S. side always wins. I don't know what you're talking about, Dorf. Q14 moving south under I've never seen the U.S. side win. Looks like the rest of my squad four here is going to die off. That's what it looks like. Wayne Newton went down to enemy fire. Cold G8 is the last one alive, and there goes their nade. Awesome. All right, I'll bring it back over to my view. Yep, go ahead. So we can get some uh, command comms here. Uh, caught the end of it. Yeah, it was mostly just chatter about them, uh, what their next move is going to be pushing up this hill. And what's going on with the uh, armor in the back. We've got... Want to be ready for people to disengage off that hill. Krusty and Ishmi pushing through the encampment for the U.S. Just these two. Command There's no one else with them. Minor contacts on the north side. Copy. Just keep cutting him off, getting one space. Go for five. They might it is not look. Say it, it is now. not looking good for Karma's uh, squad yeah, here. No, He's getting, it looks uh, like he just lost lawn darts also. One, yeah, he did. Well, five, just start calling it. Yeah, one, keep the pressure on him. Things are slowing down, they're gonna notice. They're probably gonna kill me, but we'll do our best. Not bad, he's, uh, Karma's trying to get, the uh, Kerr's squad here, Kerr's, uh, fire team to get down south so they can, uh, protect the flank here. Yeah. 
three, do you copy? Oop, another guy from Karma's squad down. Ooh, Russians Ooh, over here. Ooh, got some return fire. The east getting uh, lit up by AR fire. Yep, I'm with you on killer. I'm with you on this one, killer. Yep, they uh, one, down one person went down. They did a one for one trade Copy. for the AR fire. Not much going on over here, though. They are pretty much stalemated. Let's see what's going on over here at the west. Oh, Uptown goes down as oh, well. Oh, we've got Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Oh, not Fulcrum. Who is this? We got Meepo and uh, Hobo Cop. <laughs> in... Oh, no. Are they Are they in the middle, too, again? Yeah, they're in the middle. They. Uh... Oh, no. Look at this. They're surrounded on all sides by some form of infantry. Oddball oh, no. over here. What is Oddball doing? Oh, oh. oh what was that? Uh, Boogie's got hit again. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, Boogie got hit again with another lat. That's oh, two, two Oddball, hits on his. What are you doing? Oh, he planted a. Oh, pulled out. He's fine. Got so close there, Oddball. What just blew up over there? I heard that. Uh, Boogie's BTR just blew up. Oh no. Yep, I didn't see well, it, but uh, it blew up. <laughs> Hobo Cop and Meepo, or uh, Meep50 over here might uh, end up in the same boat. Yeah, let's see, who's, let's see, who's the lad over here? Who's the lad over here? Uh, let's see, we got uh, Bags here on the lat, looking for this other last BTR on your side. Ooh, I just had a big leg spike. No, nope, it looks like Hobocop and Meep might pull out safe on this one with a little bit of damage. Yep, just a little bit. It looks like they got one hit in from bags here. All right, heading back to the center. It looks like the Russians are making a really hard push here on the U.S. forces. Revy's almost down. Yeah, they came in pretty hard from the north side. Looks like the east side. Uh, looks like the east side's collapsed as well. That's a uh, Karma squad. That was his. Uh, that was his position. Looks like he, he must went down too. Yeah. I think All the right, only I'm person left on over to squad your is view. Stay an eye in the sky type deal, and I'm gonna be up close in the corner for y'all. Yeah, copy that. Looks like uh, Duke here is gonna be. Uh, I still hear another BTR rolling. Looks like Duke got cut off here. He's uh should be looking to uh, get back with his friendlies here in a minute. Okay, is that three BTRs? Nightmare's over here just calling out Sunfish, Duke Noobum, and uh, J. Mao to his northeast. Ooh. He's just yelling, three northeast, three northeast. Northwest. Oh. As soon as possible. I should not have got that close. Admin here talking to Duke, trying to get him back into uh, back to his friendlies here. Looks like Paladin here. Paladin and, uh, is it just Paladin? Is it just Paladin now? Oh, look at this. Oh, real close, within five meters of each other. Ooh. Come on, Paladin, Paladin, come on, Paladin. Oh, he didn't see the, he didn't see the second one. Hey, east, east to our right, where Paladin was. Paladin took out, uh, Acid Pentalones here. For those of y'all that can't understand what's going on in the little tiny screen, that is me in the bottom corner. We have Nightmare facing off against New Duke Gum, Duke Nugum, who just got knocked out, Frost, and uh, J Mao. Oh, and we're down goes Frost. I'm, yep. The only person left on the east side here is uh, Snowfall on your side. Looks like he might go down here. The rest of his fire team got wiped out by my guys. And down goes J Mao. That is. No more U.S. forces. Who is last left on the U.S.? Is that there? We got two Rick people Miss? left. We got Tom, Atomic and Alzadi. Uh, I well got Duke, a ready bus over here in the center. Hmm. He's by the blue smoke by the barrels. A repis over there too. Yeah. I'll say. Oh, I turned around at the wrong time. Snowfall went down as well. Uh all right, I'm going to pull it in on my view, and we get to see uh, whether or not 
ready bus can uh, take anyone out. Wait, want him to pop the smoke right here? It's not looking good for the U.S. side though. Oh, ready bus using smoke to draw out Abu Hajar. Not a bad move. And sadly, he's given his position away by killing him to every other Russian in the zone. Yep, and he's bleeding. Yes, Redipus is, is bleeding, so he got hit. They're trying to they're trying to flush him out here. Friendly in the tank. How's it, how's it going, guys? Is he dead? Friendly on the west side of the tent as well. Redipus doing southwest. a good job defending the uh, the radio here. Oh yeah, doing a pretty good job. The the rest of the east side here just needs to come in here. And uh, well, we've got uh, Russian forces pushing in now. Yep. I have to get real close and personal here because I got all these cameras in the way. <laughs> oh, oh Redipus. Damn, there. That is, Damn, there that... was no survival there. No, there was not. Catnip got him from the front and Kimchi was aiming for his rear. Moving into a... That is, who's left? Uh, looks like we got, we got three people. And Duke. Atomic, Duke, and there should be a Z Alzadi over here to the uh, oh, yeah. south here. Just come over here and see if uh, Atomic and Duke are saying anything. Uh, I believe they are. They're working on pushing up. Uh, see, Midgard Crusader. That was the that was the plan, but uh, plans only last till first contact usually. So. Yeah, that's true. Plans never survive first contact. Okay, Atomic, oh, Atomic and Duke here. here are moving in. Oh, Duke goes down. Oh, that's not good. Duke goes down. Atomic and Elzadi are the last ones alive. All right. Well, I got camera on Elzadi. You keep on uh, Atomic. I'll stay on Atomic. Atomic looking out, looking for uh, Nightmare here. He heard Nightmare firing, but uh, he doesn't know yeah. exactly where he's at. Ooh! Nightmare oh, found him, though. Atomic is down. Last alive is going to be Elzadi here. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, so he's just going to... He's... Oh, he's just going to run right in there. Ran right into the... Oh, oh, no. Eminaz is right there. In front of you! Ooh, Eminaz. ballsy! Ooh, nice. Oh, can he get him? No! No, oh, no. Catnip came up on the rear. Yep, and that should be it. And that's GG for round one. Operation Eagle Peak. We will be back with round two shortly. How'd you already hurt yourself, silly? All right, good work last round, guys. Hope that was a fun round. Uh, it was really close. You guys did an excellent job. Okay, so this round, we're going to take three BTRs. Um, if you op take, open up your maps, you can see the three BTRs are going to be staged in a um, Wolfpack trifecta with infantry up ahead of them. They're going to be uh, used as support fire for the infantry as they push. We're not going to risk them too much in the beginning, uh, allowing uh, the infantry and the BTRs to work in tandem to get as much ground as possible. Uh, the beginning of the op, something I want you guys to keep in mind is... Uh, at the beginning, speed is going to be key. We want to take as much ground as possible before, because they're going to have guys facing in every single direction. Uh, what we need to do is take as much ground as possible before they all allocate their forces looking north. So the, the way we're going to take uh, do this is we're all going to load up into BTRs, and I believe we got a transport or something. I'll check that afterwards. Uh, we're going to unload on the infantry mark just before the intersection in Papa 11. From there on, we're gonna split out into uh, different sectors. I'm gonna start marking them now. Squad four is gonna go along the map border. They're gonna be clearing out the hilltops out to the east. Uh, that is on the mine mark. Squad two, Wilbur, uh, he's gonna be mixed into the middle of the platoon. He's gonna be on the helmet mark, pushing south. Everyone's pushing south, pretty easy. Uh, Karma is going to be just west of Wilbur. He will be on the uh, light anti-tank mark. And then Kerr has a very important job of screening our west as well as pushing south. Uh, he will be on the marksman map, on the marksman mark. Basically, we're, pu we're pushing south 
and then kind of angling our vector a little bit southwest as we push on the point we're going to keep it keep good spacing but keep it tight at the same time just have lots of numbers overwhelm anything that we see and um, just overwhelming force the whole way through anybody got any questions all right sounds good so let's break them out i'm going to see if we get an extra yep. transport our Oh, and we're live. Oh, yes, we are live. We are live with round two. Operation Eagle Peak. Right. And Alpha Guido Squad on a full tilt running straight northwest. So, yes, it does appear that they will be heading for that Kilo 12 grid. All right. Well, I will leave main view on you, and the tiny view will be me as I follow the Russian crew as they get to their deployment zones. I know, we went live just as I was going to say something to Boogie, but uh, I'm sure glad it didn't. Dang. Pushing through the edge. Tucker Max, how do you get to play in these games? Uh, go ahead and join our Discord, my friend, as well as the website. Uh, you can sign up on the website to... Uh... Sorry. In order to play in our games, we have to do the what's called a SOT basic. Uh, SOT team. And then you'll be able to... <laughs> Fuck. Killer, take it away for me, because I'm really stuck. <laughs> I'm really stuck no, at talking you're good. right now. You're good. Right. It's, you're doing much better than I did the first time. All right, so to get in our operations, you need to take our SOT Basic for Squad Ops. You can find those on our calendar on our website at squadops.gg. Uh, to do that, you can type in exclamation mark. Is it website? I keep forgetting. In, uh, uh, in Twitch squad chat. Squad Ops, I believe. Is it Squad Ops? Squad Ops in... Uh, stream chat i think it'll work on any chat uh and it will provide uh, you a link to the website is I'm it just pretty twitch? sure that's i'm pretty sure it's just twitch yeah i okay well twitch chat and it'll do it uh when you go there make a, a account go to and join our discord and follow the readme it will have a directions on how to link your website account to your discord account also you will need to link your steam account to your website account all the all the fantastic linking um but you'll need that account before you can sign up on the website for the uh sot we hold them what once or twice every week oh uh, yeah we try to hold at least one once a week um usually thursday is our best bet on uh getting uh sot basics in but uh we are trying to up that number a little bit because we do understand people like to get in so we yes. are trying our best. Um, and don't feel that you uh, need to be super understanding of how this game works. All SOT Basic is is teaching you the way we do things during the operation. That is it. Um, if you want like major movement stuff and uh, more advanced stuff we have advanced sot do we even run advanced sot anymore yes we do we got one coming up i believe in two weeks all right well there we go next the i believe it's ever next elusive. saturday the ever elusive advanced sot uh one check no it is um two weeks now from now thursday next thursday i believe all right yep next thursday But uh, I was actually wrong. Alpha Guido is actually in the uh, Q12 area. Sorry. Yep. But uh, he's he's going to be the first contact here. It looks like we got uh, pretty spread out for him. He's got a buddy team heading up north uh, within within 100 meters of uh, Karma Cut squad here. Oh, boy. This ain't good. Yeah, I see that. Actually, wait. I don't think we're looking at the same thing. I've got... I see Scottish you. chap moving up on uh, Dentic and the Sasa. Alpha Guido calling out contact, and it looks like Dedrick and Sasa here are moving back. Yep. They said they said it was 300 meters out, but in reality it was actually 200. Oh, or it yeah. was actually 100, sorry. But they are retreating as fast as they can back to the squad here. But they do not know the size of the contact. All they know is that there is a contact out there. Unbeknownst to them, they have a full platoon on their heels. 
Um, I'm not sure if that's something that Ops ran in the past. If that is not part of the Ops community stuff that you've done, then yes, you still need to take the SOT. Uh, what was the question? Uh, in Twitch chat... Uh, do I need to go through SOT with an already pre-existing yeah. infantry mill training? Yes, you do. We we require everybody, no matter where you're from, no matter what experience you have, you do have to go through our basic. Uh, it's just that way everyone, it's just that way we train everyone. Uh, is on, uh, sorry. So that way everyone's on the same page as far as uh, our, our uh, operations go. It's only like a 30 minute session anyways, 30 to an hour. So it's it's nothing too mm, in depth. More more like 90. Is it 90 now? It's usually 90 minutes. Yep. Okay. Well, we got contact here. Lawn yeah, darts going do. down first. No, oh yes, yes he is. Lawn darts the first one to die on the Russian side. I thought he was going to live there for a bit. He was on the uh back side of a hill. Yeah, he was. It looks like Boogie. I think Boogie took him out. Darn you, Boogie. I was kind of hoping darts. Boogie would die first. That was, that was my guy. I kind of feel sorry now. I wish I had yeah, gotten that, uh, gotten Lauren Dart's video set up for the uh, halftime. But y'all get to uh, experience that maybe next next weekend. Maybe. Or next, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday or Saturday? Next Wednesday. Ah. Actually, wait. Probably not next Wednesday. Because now that I think about it, I'm probably not going to be here for Wednesday. So next week, someone else gets to do the Wednesday stream. And Alpha Gill, given the uh, given the order to pull back after only getting one kill, but he is kind of getting into that l shape ambush here, which is not uh, not ideal. He's trying to get out of that. Snowfall is not in a good position here. Ooh, let me take a look here. I see you down there. He is just pushing alongside rather Scotch Chap, who is about to get an open view and see him. Oh, Scotch Chap pulled back at the last minute. I'm not sure if they're aware of your uh, guys to the west here. Oh, now they are. Yeah, they better be. <laughs> they are now. Snowfall got hit by got hit by a bullet, and out comes the smokes, so they can cover their retreat. And it looks like we got BTRs rolling in. Let me look here. Let me look here. Karma's ordering some BTRs to come rolling in. I don't know Ooh. where they are. Frost is in charge of the BTRs. Never mind. Oh no. <laughs> oh, fun. I see a BTR heading my way, though. Heading our way here. I'm looks searching like, uh, for it. Yeah. So it looks like uh, Snowfall and Uptown, Uptown might get out of here. No, I'm, I'm looking at the wall of the Russians just moving towards them, and they're not moving fast enough. Oddballs yep. coming up on Snowfall. <laughs> Oh, yep, I see it now. Yes, he is. Snowfall needs to get up and move. He's uh, out in the open. Just needs to get out of there. He has smoke cover. All right. Ah, looking good. Uh, actually, honestly, it's really hard to tell right now. There wasn't That's much it. loss of life at the beginning here. Yeah, just uh, just lawn darts, I believe, actually. Yeah. That's Poor all I saw. Darts. Looks like uh, Alpha Guido has stopped the squad to help cover for Uptown Funk. For up Uptown Funk. I put <laughs> Funk on the end of it for some reason. Oh, my God, my mind today. Uh, but Snowfall and Uptown are beelining it back to the squad here for, to the safety of numbers. Actually, doing pretty good. They're actually using bounding, which is uh, pretty surprising. Snowfall is uh, hanging back and protecting them. Oh, yeah. BTR is somewhere to our north. 
Then uh, let's see. Alpha Guido calling out that BTR to a to the north. Only calling one out, so they're not sure if there's there's actually two, but they don't they don't know if there's two or not. I'm actually still trying to find that other BTR. I might have found it. Here we go. We've got a uh... by Wade Newton squad out way out there. Yeah. Oh, Snowfall getting cut out all by himself. What is he doing out there? Ah, uh, you know what? He's lost contact with this. He's lost. Poor Snowball. Snowfall. No, he's part of uh, Alpha Guido squad. He's just trying to get back to him. I know. He got left behind. He had a buddy out there with him. Yeah, they... I thought they were doing pretty good in bounding, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> Apparently the buddy decided, nah, I'm done. <laughs> uh oh, uh, let's see the the BTR rolling oh, in yeah. here. I'm gonna switch over to my view here. There's there's one hit. Okay, took one hit. Looks like I uh, believe that was Young BTR. Savage hit it. Where was the yes, and we got. F oh, that second, that's the second hit on it. And no tires taken out. He still got control over it. Oh my god, Young Savage using that cover to his advantage to uh, conceal himself. But he got two solid hits on that BTR. <laughs> Back to the basics for the buddy that loves <laughs> Snowfall. Yep. You leave oh, your buddy behind. Right, you leave your Snowfall buddy behind. Did. You toss back yeah, inside. Okay. Yep, Snowfall okay. did eventually go down. Uh, yeah. Do that. Cut one. I've got my BTR looking on your east side at this time. Okay, five and one's on getting on the objective. Three, two, four. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah, it looks like Revy's trying to push everyone in. Ooh, Uptown getting uh, some shots in on the east side here. I think they're just oh, yeah. trading. They're, they're trading uh, flesh wounds for flesh wounds. Uh, looks like uh, we've got a three man here for the U.S. is about to get sidelined by Flickers hey, Group. Karma, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have contacts directly from the of you. Alongside Karma Cut, coming straight through the middle of the U.S. forces here. Ooh. Let me look here. Frost, let's use your last BTR and push these guys in. These guys are. Oh yes, this is not good. They're gonna be hiding in the fields. Five, you're all, you're all over the objective. One, you're on the knoll. Three, two, four. One, yes, two, you're uh, the, uh, the east side. Uh, let's see, is that Karma Cut? Yeah, Karma Cut spot here is uh, completely cut off uh, this so eastern side. South. Oh, yeah. They're going to have they a have hard chosen, time getting back. Yeah, they've chosen pretty much the, the best positions to push up in to uh, pinch multiple places because you've got the westernmost russian crew is in between the uh, compound and the westernmost u.s forces and then you've got russian forces every step between each group we got alpha guido coming west heading straight into that and straight into karma cut squad here they were given the order to retreat that's BTR not good. 80 on the on the uh, compound. Ooh, I see that. I don't know what it is Bear. with them and driving the BTR 80 straight on the point. I don't know, but they're doing better than the uh, last round. That? That's true, but last they're, round they the didn't Russians die won. instantly. <laughs> yeah. Ishmi is using the uh, the funky tactic of hiding under. Oh, Hobocop taken one tap by Duke. Not bad. Ishmi taken down by Kerr. I've got contact coming in. Contact to South Command. They're, they're running west. And. That is hey, Karma Cut Squad's not being oh, very vigilant here. Viper, your last words will be forever immortalized on stream. Oh, no. But uh, Alpha Guido's uh, or uh, Karma Cut Squad's not doing, not being very good at that 360 security as they've let Alpha Guido actually come back into contact here. What? Oh, okay. I see what they've done. They've uh, pushed out south and regrouped there. Yeah. Yes, they did. They pushed south of this a little good. bit and then they were gone. Is Karma down? 
start bringing these BTRs. Calm her down. Uh, I believe so. Uh, I don't see him. F in chat for karma down. Karma down. That sucks. And we got a BTR just running around the uh, around yeah. The point here. <laughs> I mean, he's just being uh, doing a little nuisance at this point. <clears throat> oh, we got some uh, contact over here. Looks like they uh, picked off one dude. Send one on the point proper to help out uh, five and one. The situational awareness for that one guy. He's kind of out by himself. Oh yeah. This wasn't just wasn't on point today. Nope. Flicker taking a nade to the leg, still surviving. Return nade did nothing. Nope. Never, usually never does. I don't think I've ever seen a return nade hit anything. Oh, a BTR went just went down in point. Ooh. Yep, the one that was running around the point just got obliterated. Yeah, that's what happens. And uh, we got uh, Razor here, command, trying to get everyone back onto the point. If you can, if you can, it's all good. No, I As it looks like he's the only one left other than Fulcrum and uh, Tie-Dye here. We've still got the Russian forces down to the east uh, pushing up, so lots of Russians still left. Razor taking shots from, uh, I believe, Kerr over here. Okay, we got a uh, Republican here. The Republican? <laughs> oh, that's Rubba. Sorry, fuck me. But Rubba coming in with his squad to reinforce uh, the point here. Pretty much all the rest of this contact is going to be east, so that's a good thing. Copy. One has contact south. Four. Clear south. Uh, let's see. And the Russians are systematically destroying the U.S. forces over here. Ooh. Yep. Uh, Alpha Guido oh, is a very good SL. Ooh, yeah, there yeah, he goes. Yeah, there goes. Clear the north side. Alpha Guido uh, taking Alpha some, uh... Muff Bandit going down as well. Oh, Alpha yeah. Guido's... Alpha Guido trying to get out, of, get out of the situation as he realized that there's three squads over here. Hold what you can. Yeah. They are Just surrounded by Russians. Though the Russians aren't doing too good, they've got a U.S. force coming up behind Liberal Pundit and Flicker right now. To the north. Yep, I see that as well. Oh, down goes Liberal. Ah, uh, the rocks were not strong enough. I just missed it. Oh, dang. But the uh, Decrum squad... Yep. Nice. Decrum squad is uh, systematically annihilating. Ooh, they forgot to uh, watch their west, southwest here. Got uh, uh, Azlali took out Grizzly Latte. And it looks like we almost had a U.S. Lat come flying at our, uh, or actually, I guess it did hit the uh, BTR. Yeah, looks like it did. Down there. Russian is quickly uh, turning around and looking behind him as uh, Decrum Squad comes up here. Resecuring their 362. And Deckard pulling the rest of his squad back out. No point in pushing as he's losing his squad. Pretty sure Silent, if he was looking north here, he could have seen him. I think. Let's flip over to your view and see. Yeah, Silent. I think Silent might have seen him. Oh, one sec. Uh, he did not. He could not see him over the hill here. Hey, one, you want to watch your south? I got, we've got nades landing around me right now. I think they're coming from the southeast. Let's take a look here. Um, so we got Alpha Squad or Alpha Guido Squad over here inside this little uh, this little garage yeah. here. The little barn out in the middle of the open. Yep. 
what they're trying to do, what they, what he's trying to do is just be a last stand here. So he just wants to uh, either be, he's going to sit silently away from the pass and take him out from behind or take out as many before he dies. Command, be advised, got at least uh, probably a fire team size element by the sound of it and the BTR directly to my east. Ha, he <laughs> thinks it's only a fire team size element. Which is not good because yeah, that's a squad. No, you know, that's yeah, a squad, that's, you know. That's a squad. <laughs> With a BTR. Ooh, BTR might not survive too long. No, we may not. Who shot that off? Was that? Oh, oh there it goes. Lagar there it goes. With Good the shit. sneaky bush shot. Dang. Good job, Lagar. Let's see, Paladin and I believe Paladin is looking towards that lat, trying to find him. Or is he just going to stay in the bush? He is staying. He's going to be a silent bush wookie for now. Just kind of. By the sounds of it, it's lost most of its infantry support, so we better not feed it kills. All right. Sorry about that. It's guy. whatever. I just had to do something. Instead of hunting it down, let's let it come to us. Break, 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 break. We weren't planning on hunting it. To be clear, do we want to bait it in, or do we want to just let it run its course? It's coming towards you anyway. Make sure you're on that toe. Well, too late. It's kind of slow now. Yeah, it's kind of slowed down. I was kind of letting uh, letting the stream have command chat there for a second. They were trying to lure in the BTR into tow range, so that way the tow can take it out. Be advised, more has been reduced to a buddy team. We're going to just kind of ghost the enemy for the time being, see what kills we can inflict. Yeah, I'm being squad three. I need you to fall back, not push you towards the BTR. Looks like we lost Decorum as well on the U.S. Oh, side here. No. It's like Decorum got uh, obliterated by the BTR. Wait a second. How did how did Alpha Guido and Sosa get out of the freaking shed? I don't know. Enemy contact to the south. To the point they are moving up on the rear of the Russians right now. Just sneakily taking out people. I think they yep, just got out of Newton. That was their plan. That was our plan, either to take out as many. Oh, the toe just took it out. I think it did. It is the gone. toe BTR did take it out. Yes. Dead. Dang, 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 dang. Samuk, yes, they were in that shed, and then they uh, came back out. Uh, their plan was either to take out as many before dying or getting around behind them, which is. What they did successfully, uh, I believe the Russian forces they were not looking to go out in the open to uh, to get into that shed. Command update: We took out another two infantry contacts right before the BTR blew up. Me and uh, my medic are sleeping north. Copy that for. Hmm. Yeah. So Alpha Guido and Sasa have successfully taken out two people, and they're now sweeping the area, trying to uh, suss out any other Russian forces. What 360 uh, security? It never works. It always turns into 180. Looks like Silent is moving back towards this, back, uh, back towards the what's this east? Right east. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Silent is slowly trying to move back to the east to help uh, reinforce the rear here. Sounds like contact west. Of Oddball taking of the far push uh, to the northwest. 
with whatever's left of his crew. Alpha Guido and Sasa still sweeping. Hey, that guy that you fired on the EP is dead. You guys killed him. Yeah, Alpha Guido just doing a sweep here. No more on this hill immediately. I think they're on the north side of the hill, though. I keep getting command chat. God damn. But uh, yeah, Alpha Guido doing a good job here trying to just come in behind him and surprise him. Yep, it looks like this time U.S. forces have the majority, so I will leave you on you, Harv. And I will be the little little camera. Nice. Because there's going right, to be so, a lot more <laughs> yes. comments going on for you. So Alpha Guido has successfully uh, ta retaken this hill. And he is now he's now watching. He's trying to keep 360 so he doesn't keep so that way no one else takes this hill. But as you can see here, we got the Paladin and Silent kind of just watching their rear here. Well, we've got uh, Charlie Fro Foxtrot with Oddball. Uh, just took, almost took out Imonos. Imonos, yes. Oh, one grenade taking out Gordy. Oh, no. That was four grenades heading their way. Fifth grenade not came in, Gordy. not hitting anything. Gordo, I think it's Gordo actually, but yeah. eh, I prefer Gordy. Gordy's good. I'll just have him change his name. I'm Gordy now. Oh, Paladin taking out Salsa from the rear here. That silent Bushwicky tactic always works. <sighs> silent. Silent and Paladin silent. taking out one dude. Yeah. Silent now running what west? Yes. Well, I hope Nightmare is happy. I have covered him many a times now during this this op. Ah, uh, Charlie Foxtrot got knocked. Yes, we only got one person left over here in the north. The rest of them are to the east. I don't know. The uh, well, we got west might here, yeah. pull this off. Yeah, was, Oddball's still alive, so there is a chance. They have somehow... Still managed to be pushing on all, almost all oh. sides of the point. Right, gonna... Polish, uh, Polish taking out Jackson from the uh, south here. Not, not they weren't paying attention to the south. Polish had a really good line of sight though on that uh, uh, on Jackson. That was really that's good. That's never good. We just lost our last Russian down to the uh, down to the north, north here. Yep, he's gone. Yeah. Inject Ghost and Oddball. The last ones left on the west side here. And then we have Silent and Paladin to the southeast. Looks like they're going to try to take the points by themselves. Oddball still calling over Oh, Guido! Chat. Guido again taken down by Paladin again! So we're just gonna flank Oof. Pal Paladin, Oof. Good, sh good job inside the bush. Oh, man. Taking out Alpha Guido, man. He's not happy about that. Well, I'm going to follow Silent. As he crawls through the dirt towards the objective. Yes, sir. Let's see, we got Oddball. Oddball is kind of on the, on objective. Oddball you down. He Oddball was down. Yeah. on the objective. He was. He was, yep. <laughs> Inject uh, Ghost is... coming in as well. Razor oh, has a good position Polish on him. Polish just got taken down by Silent. Ooh. Yeah, it's become a crawl game now. Yeah, Silent has is the the best at crawling. Oh, down takes out catnip. catnip. Yeah, it took out catnip inside the bunker. Good kill, good kill. No, we just lost catnip. Oh, Paladin's still up. Looks like Silent's gonna pull back a bit. Yep, Silent's pulling back a little bit. He took gave away his position by trying to kill another person. We still got Inject Ghost still alive up top. Yes, I believe he's just holding right now to see what's going on. He doesn't want to sit there for too long because that smoke's not going to last long and people are going to have a... Yep. Razor, uh -oh. Razor got... is looking for him. Razor's looking for him. He doesn't know exactly where he's at, but he's looking for him. Little do these... Does he know? He's right there, right... Oh, and Jay goes, takes out Razor, their command. Good shit. Oof. Good job on... Uh... Good job on Jack Goes waiting until the very last second. Oh, yeah. Staying quiet. They're, they're 
Silence still moving up. Paladin's following along uh, to the east. Paladin's got a stack here. He's got to take out Ion, Kimchi, and Imo Nose. Oh, inject, uh, trying to take out Legar. Sh now shooting at Kamachi. This is the perfect time for Paladin to move up and kill because they are they've all switched over looking to the west. Fuck. Yes, Paladin about to get to get a double kill here. There's one. Silent. Looking for Lagar. What's Silent doing? Uh Silent hasn't gotten anyone yet, but it looks like he's aiming for Fulcrum. Fulcrum gets him though. Silent. Paladin is taking down. out one nut. Not one, but two, two more people. We lost one on the east. Paladin looking for that fourth, looking for that fourth kill. It's gonna be on Lagar if he if he can see him into the uh, if he can see the uh, inside the tent here. Paladin is not the last one. G Gimlitron's coming up on Inject Ghost over here to the uh, west. Yeah, copy. I'm gonna stay on Paladin. Here. Inject he's, Ghost he's gets. Good. Gimli is down. I got one and oh man, they are Paladin trying to trying to yes, tr Paladin trying to suss out this guy in the tent here. Paladin and uh, Inject are just communicating. They are just within range for a local. Lagar getting very lucky on that pit. Very lucky. Yes, he got very lucky on that. Inject! Inject oh. goes taking out Lagar. Good job on nice. his end here. Oh no, Inject taken down by, I think that was Tie-Dye Dude. Popped out, came around the sandbags here and just lined up a shot and laid into him. Is Silence still alive? No, Silence down. No, Got Silence taken down. Out by Falcon. Okay. Paladin, the last guy alive on the uh, Russian side here. He's got... Oh, no. Taking out Tie-Dye. Got... Yeah. Yep. Took out right, Tie-Dye. Fulcrum should be the last one for the U.S. side, I do believe. Uh, I can look real quick. I believe so. Looks like it's a one-on-one -on -one fight for the win here. Paladin taking it slow. Oh, oh, Paladin taking out, or taking out the pulling it the in at the end. Yes, that was Fulcrum. Oh, that was good job, Paladin, sussing out Fulcrum in the end. Wait here. a second. Wait a second. Is there we still one more? Still one more? That's I everyone, I think. See one. That should be GG. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Unless he has the... Yep, there, there it, it is. There it is. GG. Good job, G -G. Paladin. Good job, Paladin. Nice.